Hey guys, just me, Jess, hanging out with the boys from Dream Ribs. What up? <laughs> and in this video, we're going to be talking about NXT TakeOver Respect main event between Sasha Banks and Bailey. Woohoo! <laughs> we're huggers. So who wants to start us out? It was like the biggest match of the night. Oh yeah. That yes. Was, it was a hell of a match. Yeah, it was a great match. It was, you know, very well told, told as far as um, wrestling story in a match. Um, you know, you got Sasha, who comes off more as, like, the veteran wrestler, the more established wrestler, getting, you know, the early lead on Bailey, and Bailey has to constantly fight back. You know, Sasha was the aggressor on purpose so that Bailey can come back, fight back, and get that, you know, the last ball as it, you know, turned out to be. You know, I, I don't really have any negative things to say about the match because, I mean, first of all, to, to wrestle 30 minutes, and I know in our matches nowadays, you're going to take, you know, the first five, six, or even 10 minutes and kind of slowly work your way into it. You're going to do a lot of, you know, wrestling spots and a lot of just simple holds and spots that take up a lot of time, you know, just so you so you can save, you know, your adrenaline and, you know, save your energy for the last, you know, 20, 15 minutes of it when you really need it or you need to put your, you know, pedal to the metal. So I like how they did the build there. Um, you know, I wasn't going to expect them to go, you know, 110% for 30 minutes. Yeah. That'd be amazing. That's and unrealistic. I know. Well, a lot of wrestlers can do that, and especially, you know, not to sidetrack too much, but, like, if I've seen matches similar with, like, Daniel Bryan back in his indie days and um, AJ well, Styles and Christopher Daniels. I mean, they can do that kind of stuff, and not everyone can, but... It's still good when you have the kind of slow build, you know, the first five, ten minutes. You do some of the typical, you know, wrestling interactions between, you know, heel and face. So they had that with us. Uh, and then just, you know, every spot, every moment, once that, um, you know, first couple of pinfalls or first couple of, you know, wins got on her, it, it started getting really intense, and there's yeah. a lot of good moves, a lot of good spots. Again, what do you expect with someone like Sasha and someone like Bailey? They're two of the best, you know, NXTs had to offer, and you know now Sasha's moved on to the main roster, which is great. She'll get a chance to, you know, wrestle, you know, obviously Charlotte again at some point, Nikki Bella, I'm sure. You know, who knows? There's a, there's a lot of, you know, different possibilities. And now this is Bailey's time to have a nice long title run and, you know, see where it goes from there. Yeah, it was definitely an awesome match. You can tell that both of them put their heart and soul oh, yeah. in it. And yeah, it's, a, it's a big deal. And the thing is, is that, yeah, okay, maybe they weren't wrestling the whole 30 minutes, but still, it was a hell of a match, and you got to give them a lot of credit. And, yeah, there's really nothing... Negative, I can say about this match, in my opinion. I mean, uh, one of my favorite spots of the match was I forgot the name of Bailey's move, but when they're out on the top rope and they do the flip. Uh, oh, the move. reverse for a crown. Yeah, that was awesome. That yeah, move. she does that so well. And you always worry because that's, a, it's dang, a, dangerous, that's yeah. a very dangerous move. Even the most trained wrestlers who do that move on you know, on a nightly basis, you know, they put themselves at risk. So. And even though, yeah, like you said, they're very well trained, I'm always scared watching a move like yeah, that yeah. because a lot could go wrong. Oh, yeah. Even though it's an awesome move, don't get me wrong, a lot could go wrong. Yeah. And it's good that she kind of slowly went into it because a lot of wrestlers think, oh, you know, the faster I do this move, the quicker I'm getting, getting it over with, so that's less, you know, chance of injury. But actually, if you really think about it, if you're going so quick and going 100 miles per hour trying to get this move done, maybe your partner's not ready. Maybe the that's rest of you're going yeah. up against isn't ready. So they don't get a good flip over and they land on you, or they don't help carry your momentum and then you land on your head. So, you know, the, even though many people might 
you know, say that that reverse Huracurana wasn't as good as others. Well, they did it in a safe way that still looked really good. Yeah. Better than any, any Huracurana Cena can do. Yeah, well... Good I mean, point. <laughs> yeah, that's very true. So um, what was your favorite part of the match, Tim? That there was the back and forth with the points on who's getting the falls and everything. Like, you almost thought, oh, man, maybe this is the time that something crazy's got to happen. But then they ended up getting momentum back and tying it up again. The part where Bailey got thrown into the lightning board. And oh, yeah. Like, oh, snap. Maybe she's that out. That was crazy. Yeah. And like the little, one of her little fans got upset and was, oh, yeah. was like really invested into it. So oh, yeah. No, no. Oh, man. Sasha Banks making little kids cry. <laughs> oh, <laughs> man. Not, that, not, not so much like her making the kid cry, but it that moment where she did that to Bailey and then basically played, you know, super heel. And I think is she took the band from that little girl and like threw it, which made the little girl cry. The, the, the Bailey. I didn't catch her. that. Yeah, yeah she, she, the headband she threw the, the headband, and then, but that just was like the greatest way to get the crowd that was like in between, maybe yeah, to maybe get, working a chant for Sasha, maybe to generate the heat. Yeah, to generate the heat that. Now everyone's cheering for Bailey for the most part. Do you think that yeah. was maybe set up? Oh, I'm sure. I mean, most was, likely. Uh, I, I mean, I didn't see it, but I mean, more. I would think so because it happened to the girl that they advertised, oh, or was, as you know, Bailey's number one fan. Oh uh, yeah, her eyes that's true. And stuff. So I'm sure maybe they talked to them ahead of time, like, hey, you know, how would you like to be in this little spot here? Well. You know, Sasha's going to do this. You know, don't take it personally or don't get really, really upset, but make it look like, oh, she took that and that represents my hero, Bailey, and, you know, go ahead and look sad. That's yeah. a good point. It, it, or it could have just been, you know, really? her being a heel. Like, who knows? That, that's, you know, the beauty of wrestling. Either it was, way, it was, it was an interesting. Yeah, it, and it shows, like, again, just the shift from, okay, Everyone was going, like, a lot of people were going for Sasha, and she was so popular, you know, all that stuff. And then she does that, then everyone's on Bailey's side, just like that. So that that was, like, such a like a critical moment, because everyone focused on Bailey, and everyone wanted to see her win. Like, that was awesome. It was probably one of the greatest women's matches that I've ever seen, because most of the times you see these divas wrestle, they only get to wrestle, like, maybe ten minutes, you know, or less. Or less. Depending <laughs> Usually on how less. Oh, yeah. but the Unfortunately. Fact, the fact that like, we, we know that the women are really getting a lot more matches on NXT. The fact that we had two tonight, um, it was really, really good to see. And that the, the fact that the crowd was chanting women's wrestling, you know, and, and that they were really behind them. It would be something that the women actually made event raw. It's wishful thinking, but who knows? Maybe now that Triple H and everybody was there and they saw what people said about it, the fact that they were chanting better than Raw, it's like, huh, oh, Stephanie, she's right there, and Triple H, aren't you hearing this? Mm. It's like, come on. I was just about to say that, make that comment about uh, the crowds chanting women's wrestling, and really, they should just drop the title Divas and just call it women's yeah, wrestling. Yeah, I wish they would bring back the women's title. I don't like the term diva, but then again, they, they would have to get rid of Total Divas. Yeah, I was just going to say, that's the problem, Stuff like that. is the show Total Divas. Are they going to get rid of that show? I don't see that in the near future. Oh, huh. and, and I mean, you could technically go back to women's wrestling and just use Total Divas as just the reality show name, because yeah. essentially suppose, that's all they do is act like divas on that show. Right. So it's a I fitting suppose. name regardless, but... What you gotta realize is the crowd there at NXT shows are very smart to wrestling. They're they're a <laughs> pro wrestling crowd, and they want to see wrestling. They don't want to see storylines. The difference being with Raw and SmackDown, respectively, you know they're not all a pro, a pro kind of focused on wrestling crowd. They're mostly kids and families that. They're they're entertained more by the characters. Like when I talk to 
the kids at my job, like that like wrestling. They're not their favorite wrestlers aren't the ones that wrestle with them. Their their favorite wrestlers and the stuff that they you know, the merchandise that they have of theirs or the pictures or the cards that they have of theirs are the ones that pretty much look like superheroes. Or yeah. the ones that have a look that appeals or a personality that appeals to a kid. So, I mean, obviously John Cena is a blatant obvious example, but a lot of the kids I know like Roman Reigns. He's a big, strong, pretty tough little right back. Right back. He's another, you know, favorite amongst the kids at my work. So, it, it's just two different crowds that the WWE has to cater to. On their main show, it's it's Raw and SmackDown, and they have to cater to that that uh, the fans that like the entertainment, they like the good guy, bad guys, sort of stuff. Where in NXT, we like wrestling. We want to see two good good wrestlers go against each other and just be entertained like that. Yeah, maybe we're invested in a few wrestlers here and there. Everyone's got their favorites. Yeah, because see, in NXT, they're not so well, they're not so much focused on gimmicks. It's about wrestling. And, and I mean, they have. Their, well, I mean, they, they focus on gimmicks. They too, have their but, gimmicks, but yeah, like, but they're them. not like you know really gearing towards the gimmick. They're more gearing towards the ability that they have in the yeah. ring. And like you see guys like Apollo Crews, guys like Joe, you know Cesaro in the past that has been there and wrestled. The guys who actually wrestle, you know, full matches, not just little spots here and there, are the ones that people want to see. And, like, with the women tonight, they want to see more women actually wrestle. So That's that's a good point uh, as far as crowds go, because, I mean, for the most part, you probably do get a different crowd at NXT as opposed to Raw or SmackDown. That being said, I think also, though, it depends on the city, because... Some cities are definitely a lot oh, more yeah. crazy than others. Well, yeah, and then it depends what's going on. Like, so I mean, there's definitely a lot of variables yeah. as well. If it's you know the night after WrestleMania, you're gonna have a huge international crowd that you know that has focused on the wrestler, not so much the story. So yeah. you're gonna have crowds like we saw after WrestleMania and after SummerSlam. So you know you have those, but those are once or twice a year. The majority of your crowds are going to be what you see every night on Raw, essentially. So yeah. that's what you, you're you're forming your show around. And again, I would like to see this shift go more towards what we Me see. Me too. I mean, it should. At least you know have that be a part of the show. At least and to maybe, some degree. And yes, maybe not take away from all the story and stuff. You know, maybe fine tune that a little bit, but. Maybe just a mix of both. So you're yeah. having good wrestling and you're having good story. I mean, it sounds I don't want painfully to, obvious. So what I want to see is on Raw, instead of, 20, instead of 20 minutes of a promo, I want to see wrestling. Like NXT, as soon as NXT starts, it's right to a match. They exactly. They don't start with promos. They'll do some backstage stuff, but they barely do promos. You know, it's always match after match after match. Why can't they do that on Raw, have match after match after match? For the match? most part on Raw, it's to open up the show. It's a 20-minute promo every yeah. single week. Why can't they start it off with a match? Like, I, I should be. As do as that as at least as once as in a while. As soon as the lights go on, cameras are rolling, boom, right in, the, right in the ring, starting a match. Why can't they do that, you know? That's how it should be. Then when, then when things start getting a little slow in the show, then do your little promo, but then right back to a match. You're not just doing, oh, here's what we did here. Here's what happened moments ago. We know. We saw it. You don't have to keep showing it three or four oh, times. you were in the bathroom at the time. You know, they, they show replays four, four times in a row. It's like, okay, yeah, we, we, we saw we that. Earlier tonight, we saw this. Yeah, well, okay. That's nice, but we want to see the matches mm-hmm. now. It should, I agree. More people from NXT should come on, on to Raw to have a great matches. Oh, man. Let's do the show. What was your favorite part, Jess? Oh, go ahead. No. No, just say. You got a lot of time. What was your favorite part? I just wanted to touch briefly on the Asuka. Is that what her name is? 
Yeah. I used that at and the Dana Brooke match. They were great. She was phenomenal. I think it's her first time being on NXT. That was her debut match. Yeah, that, was so, that was pretty cool. She did really well. Besides, I, before I get to the Bailey stuff, which I am so excited for this match. Oh, it was so good. Every single one of them put their heart and soul into it. And you could tell by the way they, like, looked at each other and the way they treated each other that, like, it wasn't just about retaining a title or going for the title. It was, like... You know, it was what they loved to do. It was their chance to prove, you know, we belong in a big spotlight like that. Yeah, and it's um, it's just really great to see that kind of camaraderie. Yeah. Them. And um, it's really powerful stuff towards the end, and everyone was on the ramp, and they were all giving their applause to them. It was just beautiful. <laughs> Sasha pretty so. much like. She's just bawling, and yeah. I'm just wanting to ball, and I'm like, stop this. <laughs> there's I, a field strain. I think I overshed a bit. And too. there's I, no, I, cr- I cried a lot. There's it, no breaks in the field yeah. train. <laughs> it was just an amazing ending. It was really nice. I mean, you could tell that both wrestlers really respected each other and really like each other. And like going back to the, what you guys said about the hurricane off the top. Um, it could have very well been one of those really rushed, really hurried things. And so then that's how people get hurt. And just that level of kind of respect between them, you could see it in spots like that where Bailey took her yeah, time with yeah, it. Yeah, they're gonna take care of each other. They're not gonna do anything that puts their hairs or the other one in danger. Exactly. Like and like I just wanted to that Say that was a good point. So. Yeah, I just thought it was really nice where, with the whole roster just cheering them on and uh, Triple H and Stephanie giving Sasha and Bailey flowers and stuff like that. And then Charlotte and Becky and yeah, Stephanie all them watching on in the crowd. That it, was just yeah. wonderful. And you know that Sasha, that's, that was Sasha's last match in NXT yeah. ever, right? I would assume so. It, it, it yeah. came off like a set off kind of thank you Sasha for your hard work you know at NXT you help make that division there what it is and thank you Bailey for taking over and carrying the torch now and you know here's our thanks for you working or us saying thank you for working so hard for months and months because it seemed like at one point they would never give it to Bailey this this women's title and she wrestled, you know, match after match. She wrestled Charlotte so many times for that women's title. And, yeah. You know, obviously Charlotte probably is one of the better ones to come out of an NXT. Like, pure athletic, you know, pure athletic talent. She has a presence for the ring, a presence on the mic. It's amazing. Like, yeah, it's it, it's like the genetics from her father show up in you know Charlotte. Like, well, no doubt, but. Just, uh, just the natural personality wise. Her, yeah, personality and wrestling skill wise just seem to flawlessly translate to her, and it's crazy. The, but, you know, it's crazy. Is out of the out of the you know Divas Revolution. So far, we've had Charlotte has had the Divas title. Paige has had the Divas title. Sasha Banks and Bailey, but Becky Lynch has yet to have the Divas title. The, women's titles, so I would kind of would like to see Becky get it, but I don't know if she's going to be staying on the main roster or if she'll go back. I don't know. Mm-hmm. That's a good point. I think I think she's ready to be on the main roster. It'll just be, at some point, they'll have to split her and Charlotte up because you don't want... You have her up, and she's such a good talent, too. She, you know, She's great in the ring, and she's great in her character. So you got to eventually... You know, give her her spotlight, but I think they're trying to move that feud between Charlotte and Sasha to the main roster because it works yeah. so well in NXT. They're hoping it translates to the main product, and yeah. I think it will. Maybe it's it won't have the same impact. Because out of the four horsewomen, that uh, never had Becky Lynch get it. I want to see Becky Lynch 
Yeah. He's kind of always been the cheerleader for everyone. She's like, been there for Paige. Yeah, and she's, like the, like, she's like the wild one, but I want to <laughs> see her branch out. On, like she was starting to when she like changed up her gimmick and everything, and all of a sudden you think she's got to get it, and then nope, she didn't get it. Unless she only had one shot at the title. So, kind of still want to see Becky Lynch get a shot. Yeah. I think yeah. it'll come. Just maybe but, not right now. Yeah. I'm really... Because, like, when Paige was doing her promo, she was like, you're the least relevant out of all of us. I'm like, yeah, that's not nice. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. That's kind of true, though. Well, it because is true, she right? hasn't been as relevant and... She's I compare her to, like, like Charlotte and She's Sasha. just a wild one from Ireland. And it's like... Uh, get right yeah, maybe she'll get a push at some point. I hope so. Becky Lynch, uh, I hope you get a push soon. <laughs> I'll give you a push. Don't touch me. Okay. <laughs> but anyways, uh, yeah, I'm really happy for Sasha. Her most likely being on the Raw roster, SmackDown full time now, and I'm really happy for Bailey having the NXT title. I wonder who Bailey's going to feud with next. Yeah. Eva Marie. It's going to be interesting. I hope <laughs> not. No. That's a separate I hope not, but it's That's possible. A whole separate. It would be something if they did a special on the network where it was all Divas matches, all women's matches. That'd be cool. That, like an all women's special. Mm. As long as they have, you know, the That'd right That'd be people. awesome. But That'd I would, awesome. I would be afraid that. It would showcase Eva Marie, and we would be back to square one. Well, yeah. as many steps as someone like Bailey and Sasha take forward, it's ones that like Eva Marie that make it go backwards. So we now we have Asuka. Nia Jax coming next week. She's still so, to prove herself. So we got a lot of you people coming. I'm, I'm so excited for the women's division. It has so much potential. It's great it's now, but it has. But it's just going to be even greater. So, any last thoughts? Well, I'm looking forward to the next show. You know, I wonder, you know, who Bailey gonna wrestle? Who's Finn Balor gonna go up against? We're we gonna see Enzo and Cass. I mean, come on, where are these guys? Either get them in that tag team title picture or get them on the main roster. I'm begging. I'm begging for those guys on the yeah. main roster. They've been yeah. what in the Indies and. Oh, no, shot for like 30 <coughs> years now, right? Enzo, okay. They deserve a shot. Yeah, they've, they've been in NXT for a while. Oh, yeah. Tim, any last thoughts? Yeah, like, I want to see, you know, NXT just keep continue to grow. You know, we're going to find out what's next for Finn Balor. Uh, hopefully, Hodeo Otami will be back soon. Hopefully, Sami Zayn will be back soon. Yeah, I hope so. So, a lot of new people debuting. Like, I know a lot about NXT, but we can't go into it all tonight in this video. Yeah, that's another video. <laughs> but I I know what's going on at the house shows and everything, so I know all the up-and-coming people who are coming. And that's why you should follow us, so because he's if you want the insider. Thing about NXT, I'm your guy, because I follow a close eye on it, so, yeah, NXT. You hear that, America? He's your guy. And NXT is one of my favorite things about the WWE right now. I'm always watching it on the network. Wednesday nights are NXT. How much does it cost? Nine ninety nine. <laughs> but yeah, I'm sorry. If, if you don't watch any wrestling, you know, at like all, me? if you don't watch Raw or SmackDown, watch mm-hmm. NXT. It's real wrestling. You know, yeah, I watch wrestling. It's not sports entertainment. It's wrestling. It's wrestling the way it should be. We are NXT. I am NXT. So yeah. Uh, <laughs> Apparently he's nice. That's interesting. Okay, any last thoughts? Well said, by the way. Thanks. I can't follow that up. I give up. <laughs> okay, well, thanks for watching. Let us know what you guys think. What did you think of the show? And uh, follow us on Twitter, Ring Rants, Facebook, Ring Rants. Uh, if you have any questions or suggestions for videos, we're open. Uh, we're uh, like a Walmart. We're open 24-7. Bad joke. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah. I, I, bad joke, I try to get through the video without a bad joke, but anyways. Almost. Follow us, like us, share us, subscribe. <laughs> good night, or good See morning, ya. or good afternoon, whatever you're watching this. See ya.